Hi there and welcome. My name is Matt. I am Curriculum Support and Development Officer. And this Development Strand workshop is how to speak well in public, rhetoric. In this workshop we'll be covering what rhetoric is and how you can use it. So, what is rhetoric? Rhetoric is the modern understanding of the strategy of persuasion as described in its traditional form by Aristotle over 2,000 years ago. Persuasion was around long before Aristotle, but he basically simplified our understanding of it. We use rhetoric to construct our ideas in a way which represents them to our advantage. So basically, we're persuading people to believe and agree with what we say. There are three appeals of rhetoric. Ethos, pathos and logos. Ethos is establishing yourself as an authority. This could be through your credentials. So if you're a doctor, a pilot or a professor, you'll be able to speak about certain topics. You have the authority to speak about certain topics. You listen to your tutors because they have doctor or professor in front of their name. This is their title which provides them with the credentials to talk authoritatively about their subject. It's also about establishing, your, establishing yourself as an authority through what you say and do. So how you dress, the type of terminology you use, and your confidence in what you're saying. Pathos is an appeal to the emotions of the audience. Pathos looks slightly like passion, which is why I've put it there. It can appeal to any emotion. So, for instance, Martin Luther King, his great I Have a Dream speech, appealed to people's sense of justice. Stand-up comedians appeal to people's sense of fun, people's sense of humour. And charity adverts appeal to people's sense of humanity. Logos is about using evidence, facts, statistics, case studies and examples to back up your argument, your viewpoint. So, and here you can also use your own experience if it follows logically. For instance, you're more likely to believe that the recession is over when someone finally shows you the figures to back it up. So, let's think about how we can use rhetoric now. I put a picture up of Boris Johnson there, because he's a very, he uses rhetoric very effectively. And there is a link to this video, so you can see how he uses it, or available on the KLE for you. So, your use of ret rhetoric, the mixture of different appeals, can be determined by your audience. So, determined by how well you know them, if it's a casual or professional presentation or speech, if you agree with the principles of your audience or not. For instance, Boris Johnson there is talking to the Conservative Conference, so he knows them well. So, he may use perhaps his sense of pathos, his sense of belonging. in order to try and persuade the rest of the conference. Otherwise the mix should be balanced so you should get you should try to use all the appeals in your speech. I put there use your own experience. Now this means use your own experience to provide instances of rhetoric, so your own experience if it follows logically, your own experience if it's a very passionate appeal and the experience really does appeal to the emotions of your audience. Or it could be your own experience to establish your credentials. You should also use your own experience though, uh, your own experience of public speaking, to know when to use different rhetorical appeals with your audience. 
something that Boris Johnson does very well again. So, in this workshop we've looked at what rhetoric is and how you can use it. What you can do now is plan your presentations and talks with a mix of each appeal. You can also engage with the activities available on the KLE. Thank you for watching.